hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, yeah? still the voice of hardcore boxing and still. And I'm joined today by Ron Lyle. How are you doing Ron? How are we on Russ? I'm alright, nice to see you. Good to see you. Have a good weekend. Yeah, actually. We enjoyed it. Yeah. Enjoyed the drama well, of everything. Uh, uh, right then, I've uh, got a few things jotted down here. How did you think the show went then overall? Um, in Barnsley? Yeah, the, in Barnsley, Josh Wales show. The Outlaw Returns. Josh Return, his homecoming were spectacular. Uh, and no matter what anybody says, you've got to get a... No matter who's in front of you, if you can get him out of there like Josh did, it's, it's, it's very impressive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought, I think the venue's great. Uh, everybody concerned at the venue were... were very professional and it were a pleasure to work with them uh, and it gives us a lot of potential as regards moving forward with uh, with Mick and Josh. Um, I'm hoping we're going to get something uh, a lot more meaningful in his next fight uh, but that was his own coming fight yeah. so we put it we put a we put a build together probably very very quickly and it turned out it were a, it were a smashing night of boxing um, but the next one has got to be bigger and better. Yeah, uh, we did speak about it in other videos, so for those that didn't hear, uh, the French kid that fought Josh Warrington, he pulled out, didn't he, after agreeing? Yeah, uh, messed us about a lot, so we, we tried to get a credible opponent, but the French man was well rated in the IBF, mm. that was the, the, the fight, what we'd made, but, you know, it, it happens, but the, oh, mm. I've, I've been good at making not just having a plan A and plan yeah. B. So yeah. that's what we'll be looking at and we'll go in a different direction probably. Um, I, I got him rated once in the IBF uh, before and uh, we might look at something similar or there's different independent bodies where we can go. So I'll be looking at different avenues and I'll discuss it with Mick and Josh when they come in uh, in the next Wednesday. couple of days. Uh, TV, what uh, were well, the problem, Dennis? We just won a title fight, and they weren't, uh, and 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 we've got a, we set a certain standard now. Well, we free sports, yeah. Well, any television that we yeah, do, we, yeah. it's, it's a certain standard, and, and we didn't have a title at the top of the bill. Yeah, he could have said, well, it were an international fight, but the whole card after the Cash Alley fight fell through, we didn't have a, a proper chief support, uh, so. If we'd have had a proper chief support supporting that fight at Josh's and we could have put some kind of title uh, up there uh, on, on the line, then it would have been worthy of uh, some television, but it weren't quite strong enough to, to air. And uh, as it worked out, the show ended up a smashing show. Yeah. But it, it's not as strong. It wasn't as strong a show as what we've, what we've been used to for the last couple of years. Mm, Josh's fight were good, wasn't it? Good fight, Josh's, yeah. Great finish, you Enjoyed thought. It. Enjoy watching Josh, he's a proper tradesman, isn't he? And he's, he's a pleasure to work with, you, like I keep saying. He just flow at him, doesn't he? Mm. Didn't let him get set at all. He doesn't give him time to breathe, does he? No. No. You know I mean, he's. He mauls him. He mauls him. Yeah, a bit like Tyson. Yep. The Barnsley Mauler. The Barnsley Mauler. The outlaw Barnsley Mauler. Josh Whale. Well, let's just go through the card then. Uh, Richard's fighter, Cheyenne, the, the young German girl. Yeah, I thought she went on the end of a, a dodgy decision. decision. Uh, the, the girl was couldn't believe it, who she, who she fought. She, she apologised for the decision. So that obviously is just testament. I don't think Cheyenne were at her best anyway, because I've seen her in the gym and she can wipe, but she, just, she was just coming back from flu. She, but she wanted to fight. And, you know, I don't want to slag anybody off for pulling out for flu. Um, with flu, but uh, that girl wanted to fight, and she did. And even though she weren't at her best, she's still done enough to win that fight. But we're on the end of a, I thought, we're a dodgy decision. So, but anyway, it's all a learner. She yeah. didn't get her, she didn't get beat up, she didn't get knocked out, and and you just have to learn. And sometimes a defeat it, it, on your record sometimes can help 
catapult you forward because you learn from it. You think, well, I, w- I won't leave it to the judges next time. And um, and sometimes it makes it easier to match. Yeah, what about uh, the talk on social media about Shannon Courtney, Eddie's fighter, fighting Cheyenne? I think does she train with Adam Boog's gym? Yeah, uh, yeah. Shannon? Yeah. Uh, is that a possibility for Cheyenne for her next fight? Yeah, we can do, we can have a look at that, definitely. Yeah. Because yeah. as, as you know, in, in the women's boxing, there's not very many women, so you get catapulted no. to the world level very, very quickly. So as regards it, winning a world title, it's, it's a lot easier winning a world title uh, as, as, as a woman yeah. than as a, as a man, because obviously <coughs> you just go down the numbers, but it's still an achievement, but it's, but it's a lot easier to win a world title as we speak uh, at uh, different ways, because there's not many women at them ways, because there's not as many women boxing as what there is men. Uh, Savannah's moved up to light heavyweight. She's got a world title. There's only twelve in her in the whole world who fight at twelve stone seven. You know, yeah. women. She's got and she's forty three. or she's fighting for she, a world title. For a world title, so she should pick up a WBO. That's she? what I'm saying. You know, I mean, it's great and it's great for the sport that women are participating and getting involved. Yeah. And it ticks a lot of boxers. Like, but let's be honest, it's like you've got twelve girls. How many how many light heavies is there in the world at the end? Probably a couple of thousand, that's all, wasn't there? That's what I'm saying, so, you know, it, it, but, you know, it's still it great. On that. could be 1,500. But. It's great because it's still, look, no matter uh, whether you're a man or a woman, to win a world title is, is phenomenal, but obviously it's a lot more difficult to win a world title. In Shane's weight class in England, there is two people who were British in that weight class mm-hmm. Shannon Courtney and another girl so there isn't even enough to have a final eliminator is it for a British title no that's how it is but we keep being told that it's women are going to be on equal pay with men and all this so why don't they fight three minute rounds well why don't they fight at Wimbledon they want the same money at Wimbledon but why don't they do uh, five, five sets, sets instead of three and why aren't they that many women bricklayers yeah. uh, and why aren't they that many women odd carriers because they can't do a job you know because physically they're not quite as strong so you know it's like if you if you're better at the job then you should get paid yeah more but you can't put yourself in a category which is not as strong and i expect the same yeah money same money so mm-hmm. you know. All right, then. uh moving on from cheyenne uh she has she gone back to germany cheyenne yeah uh, for the time being, yeah, and then she'll be yeah. back in a couple of weeks. Right. So, moving on from Shea, and Suffy, one on points. Yeah. What do you think? I thought he would uh, step up. I thought he, I thought he uh, looked better, more impressive. Yeah. Uh, I think he, he, he's starting to look like a strong uh, professional now. So, I think yeah. very, in the next one or two fights, we can get him involved in either an eliminator for the English or maybe a straight English shot or something yeah. like that, hopefully. So that's what we look at. Have you got any opponents in mind for Suffy next? No. No? No, but uh, I need to have a look at him, see how we're improving, but John's doing a smashing job in it. Yeah, Duke, shout out to John Fuchs. Uh, and little Reggie. <laughs> Reggie, Reggie. Reggie, 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 Reggie. He's going to be the hardest in their camp. Reggie. <laughs> Keenan, just been here just now. Yeah. He looked well, didn't he? Yeah, I like him. Well, he's no Tam. Yeah, I like him. I think he's uh, he's got star he's trainer. Quality. He's got star quality written all over him. He's mm. still got he's still learning, but I think as he steps up in class, he'll start to uh, when kids all come and come to have a fight with him, uh, he'll uh, his power will, will be the. Him and Tommy factor. were mentioning in in other office, uh, Keenan same weight as uh, Dempsey Whale. Yeah, so they might meet down the line. Listen, the only way they're going to meet is if it's for it's something title. meaningful. It's like with Sonny yeah. Edwards calling Tommy out. Why fight mm. for something not meaningful? Let's build them up so they're accomplished. They've got a great fan base. They're going to make a lot more money. And let's make it for some kind of meaningful title. Or they've both got a title each. Yeah, that's how I see it. So, mm. you know, so, because we, you know, these, we're working together, aren't we? So, yeah. that's what we do. Uh, so well done to Keenan, he won on points. What next for Keenan Wayne right, Dennis? A uh, four or six rounder, he's still learning still his trade. Still learning his trade. He's four and one now, and he's four and one. Let's get him to six, seven and one and 
eight and one and then look for an English eliminator same sort or of an thing, area or, area or an area right. title and uh and let's step him up then. But uh, the, all these fights are learning fights for him mm -hmm. and uh they're all gonna be put up into the bank for when he faces any kind of style yeah. at him, uh which he, he's gonna be able to find an answer to. Yeah. Uh moving on then, good luck to Keenan Wainwright. It was dad for a footballer, wasn't he? Yeah. Lee, for I played in the same. Well, so no, he was like a, a centre back, uh, like sweeper. He was. He played for Chelsea United as well. Yeah, as a youngster, yeah, and then uh, stepped up and come to play the same team as me. Which was that, Denny? <laughs> class come from Denny. Good old league, quality yeah. kid, and a Terry Harper's from Denny. She is. I used to live there well now, done. seven years. Well done, Terry. You've done fantastic. Uh, Perry Howe. Perry Howe. He won on points, didn't he? How? How? I don't know how. <laughs> no, Pere, he uh, deservedly won on points. And he's uh, he's a great kid to work with. And I think Robert's doing a smashing job with him. Uh, they were an improvement in him. Yeah. And uh, he's, look, he's, he's raw, but he's learning. He's got an art as big as a lion. Massive ticket seller, isn't he? Big ticket seller. Um, and he's improving. But, he's, mm. you know, you don't become a tradesman in any trade overnight. Just because you change a plug, it doesn't mean to say you're an electrician, does it? You know, have you That's ever changed a good one, that. I can't change a plug, I'll leave it to well, you. Well, you're not a tradesman, then, are you? No. Not like me. How to change plugs? Well, well, if you change a plug, if it's the blue, it means L, second letter to the left, brown, and that was on the right side of the plug, because the second letter on the brown wire is R, isn't it? So, I do know a little bit, my dad was sparky, was not he? But, I'm not obviously I'm not a it down to you as a whole no. all knowledge. <laughs> anyway, so he's he's, so he's learning his trade. Perry, I, I yeah. like Perry a lot and I think uh, yeah. Robert is dedicated as well. So yeah. he'll he'll push him as much as he can and get the best out of him. Yeah. Right. Uh Cash Alley Dennis, he won on points, 58-57 yeah. yeah. against Sokolowski. He's had a bit of stick on social media, people saying Cash should be getting them people. Uh, he should be getting people like that out. Should he look like Nathan Gorman and uh, and Grant and, and and yeah, they Grant. couldn't get him out. They couldn't get him. So like that's 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 silly. Everybody's thing to say. armchair fans, though, aren't they? I'm only asking questions. No, but if you look at that kid's um, CV, he's got some good names on there. Yeah. Um, now Cash wasn't flowing like we were hoping, but he still won comfortable mm. for me. Um, and he showed some shots where he shows glimpses of class, but he didn't he didn't go through all his repertoire, which he'd been showing in in the gym. But if you think about it, the kid Sandlan pulled out two or three days before the fight, so it's supposed to be uh, quite a big, like needle domestic fight, you know, local yeah. fight, local derby fight. They called Cash out for the fight, sold plenty of tickets, took six grams of the tickets. Who oh, cashed it? No, the other. Oh, fight. the other kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Load of meals which we got, which we've got stuck with, which we had to pay. I still haven't received the tickets back, so uh, we wait, we're waiting for the tickets back, uh, <laughs> and we don't know how many people came or whatever. So there'd be an inquiry there, but that's by the by. But he's Stuart's got the inquiry, Stuart's inquiry, oh, done inquiry. <laughs> so he's got. Uh, he's Is it Andy Crusher job done with inquiry? So no. he's so he's so he's geared up to fight that kid. Yeah, go on. And then he don't know if he's going to be on. Yeah. Because it's late notice and we're trying to get an opponent in. That fella who we fought is always in good shape and fortunately he stepped up to the plate and he fought Cash. So at least we got Cash on and he got yeah. a fight. But the whole mental thing about it was he wasn't mentally as up for it probably as what he were with Sandman because he didn't know if he were going to be on yeah. after he pulled out. So it was a bit of a disappointment for him. So it's hard to keep mm. yourself up. So yeah. he got the win. And that's all we can say about it. He, he's had the experience. The kid fought, he's fought him before and he thought that Cash had improved drastically. Right. Well, uh, he got the win. Everybody got the win except Cheyenne, didn't they? Last one. Oh, sorry. What next for Cash Ali then, Dennis? What do you think? Um, His scarves fell off. We'll, uh, <laughs> the March the 27th, which is obviously Tommy Frank's world title shot. Yeah. Uh, it'll be on there and we've just got to decide if we can get in him something meaningful I've already approached certain people about seeing if there's some sort of title or eliminator uh, for us to have a look at 
And if not, we'll get him another learning fight and a test. And uh, and if not this one, the the next one after that will also be uh, some title. Yeah. Right, so it's just uh, going to be another six rounder for Cash then. I don't know. You don't know yet. No, no. I've got James Russell, and I'll be talking to uh, yeah. Richard Towers on uh, what what we think where we think we want to go next, and then um, go for it. I know that Richard wants to push him. Uh, uh, he's in shape, on. wasn't he? He's in shape, and he's he's just a, it was just a disappointment in that Sandland. He, he, can, he got himself geared up for a fight. Get that fight on then again. Well, I'm just disappointed how they've done it. Uh, who, who's Sandland's trainer, Chris? Chris Aston. Aston. Yeah. He come over and apologise, which is, you can't ask for no more than that, but, you know, the business side of it, it just leaves a bit of a sour taste because uh, if, if you've got flu, I'm sure you know within a, a few days before, but anyway, it is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, I know when Clinton's fought, he's fought, when he supposedly got flu, he's fought with, fought with infections, but look what he achieved because he wanted it. And uh, like him all over in Clinton, he were a man's man and he, and he would never refuse to fight. Yeah, but they're not, not everybody's like Clinton, are they? You know, he, he's, he shrugs things off, doesn't he? No, Shane face. did. Shane. She got flu, you know. Shane, yeah. yeah, oh, she, yeah, she, she, yeah. She, she had an infection, but she didn't have full bone, but she got a bit of an infection. But uh, apparently that kid were, were in his bed, that's what Chris says. So, you know, what can you say? You can't question it. No. Um, but it just, it's just a shame. That's all I'll say. It's a shame. Uh, moving on then to the last fight of the night, the main fight of the night, Josh Whale stopped him in third round. He's making me look good every day, Josh Whale, isn't he, Dennis? 4-0, and oh, signed in April. Why is he making you look good? It's the way that signed him, wasn't it? There's only one thing that makes you look good, that's that hat. <laughs> and me... Uh, Crack a jack pencil or pen. Fight Academy pen. I need to get Porky's corner pen down. No. My designer gets we've, his we've, finger out. We've, we've stolen. Cam. Oh, you. Cam. What's happening with Porky merchandise? I'm getting emails every day. Get on it. And that big pull up for office. Are these available on Porky's? Are we going to start selling them on Porky's corner? We might put some Fight Academy ones on. Yeah, the 50 pence ones, aren't they? Quality. <laughs> Five and a piece. Remember them Denny Sobs and Mugs you used to have here? And coasters. I think I've still got a coaster. Can you get me some more? <laughs> get me some more. So yeah, yeah, Josh Josh, Wales, yeah, yeah. I thought he, he just jumped on the kid and like we said, when the when the French kid pulled out and then we got to look for a credible opponent, he got a great record, the African lad, and uh, he come to obviously have a look at Josh and probably out boxing. Josh didn't give him a chance, he just stuck it on him from the first bell. Yeah. And what the second round we got him third. out? Third. Oh, third. Uh, he got him out of there. And uh, you can't knock that out. It doesn't matter who's in front of you. If you can get somebody out of there like Josh did, that's very impressive. So Four he, and out with two knockouts. He'll get anybody in the fight. I'll tell you what, as he is now, I wish I could have had him uh, when he fought Stuart Hall. I know I had a great run with Stuart Hall, but Josh in this frame of mind, he's... Probably a different result against Stuart. I don't like that Stuart Hall me then. Well, whatever. But um, it's just, it's all about it. Should we get him we get him to come out of retirement and let Josh knock him about? <laughs> <laughs> That's That's how we, we, met, we met history, I helped him make history in his hometown, which uh, I hope they appreciate, but I'm not sure they do, but it was me what made it happen. If I got the right match at the right time for him and he won a world title. Yeah. He, work, he worked hard, he was a tough lad. Um, but yeah, they were, they were a bit hard work at times, but uh, look what we achieved. <laughs> look what we achieved, but that could have been Josh. Mm. Before each other, and Josh were injured, he got a dodgy knee, he got to have a, I think he had to have surgery on his knee, didn't he? Yeah. He anyway. won 100%. And what, what, yeah, next, what next for Josh Whale, Dennis? Try and get him on the world scene, aren't we? Do you want me to walk the car? We're going to be done in a couple of minutes, yeah. Uh, so moving on then, uh, Josh Whale, what next for Josh Whale, Dennis, now? We're trying to get him on the world scene, that's what we're going to try and do. I'm going to talk to me. I think I've just said this, this is a repeat yeah, programme. Yeah. No, no. I mean, have we got any... Have uh, you got a Sky Plus on here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Gold. Have we got uh, Michelle talking on camera? Have we got any opponents, that, anybody that you're thinking of for him? 
I'm not releasing anything at the moment because you always not want to my the viewers then. All the you always want the exclusives. I tell you what, you've lost some weight. You're looking well. I bet you've signed to get a bit of a fan club, you know. Yeah. I bet you've women got women pulling They're dressing me, aren't they? And all sorts of stuff, aren't they? No. Well, you look like Henry Winkler or they are. Well, right? them jeans they got. Me. They the fonz. What about that leather jacket? Yeah, knowing them jeans, I thought you looked like Dan Aykroyd in Trading Place. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't, I just do but you look well I don't miss you you look well in black track suit they've got some style because uh, black slims you does it? yeah oh yeah, thank you does. very much it's just a known fact isn't it Michelle so so you're happy with all in all when you're happy with the show what would you give the show out of 10 Dennis? 7.5 7.5 what would you give it? you don't want to hear that do you? No, I don't. I don't want no negativity from Porky's Corner because otherwise you'll get kicked out and you won't be allowed back in. <laughs> Michelle will buy you from here because she's always going to buy me Miss Money Penny. She's always on the brink of kicking somebody out. We know we are still let up. People don't even come here for the purse money. They go, oh God, Michelle's not on this shit. <laughs> Michelle doesn't put. She doesn't. Down, you don't suffer fools gladly, do you, Michelle? Well, she's seen plenty. I know what I've stood for. So that's about it then. We'll uh I'll go mug my car and we'll do the March twenty-seventh one, yeah. Go on in, pal. All right, two seconds. Turn it off. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting box. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all. I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing, it means a lot to me because uh, we're on this journey together aren't we? So anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me, porkycorner at mail.com Alright, shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging, alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>